Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over an awesome free application, well, as of right now, the Sim Toolkit Pro, coming up in today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone, so let's get started in today's video, and if you have any questions along the way, please post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. And as always, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciated. All the links will be down below in the description, so be sure to go down and check those out. When you click on the link, it'll bring you up on this page, and from here, we wanna head over to the download section. Once we're there, you're gonna choose the appropriate download for your PC. For me, I'm using Windows, so we're just gonna left click the download, and it should populate down in your web browser. One thing you may want to do while that is downloading is to register for an account to be able to activate the sim toolkit pro so to do that you just want to head right up here to the upper right hand corner click on my account hit register and then you can register your email and password so that you'll be able to open the application once you have it installed once that's done we're going to go down below and click on the exe file to go ahead and run the sim toolkit pro Here's where you're gonna to need to enter that information that you registered for your account. Then we're just gonna go ahead and click sign in. Oh, you can also hit register for free here as well. Once we have it open, we can head over here to the left hand side and this will give us all the different options that we can use for the application. And this is as of right now because this is updated constantly and things are evolving so rapidly by the time you see the video, it may not even look like this. Now this application is also used for other flight sims as well, and not just Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once you do have your sim running, we can go over here to connect a sim, and then it will track our flights for us. So this application does have a bunch of cool features, so let's go to the live map and I'll show you some of the neat things that you can do here. You'll notice up here at the top right, we have a bunch of different servers. So if we click on the VATSIM server, we can actually turn on or off any of the flights, area ATC, or the airport ATC. So let's zoom in here real quick. If we turn off airport ATC, turn it back on, you'll notice here that we have all the different frequencies for VATSIM. I think that is really, really cool. And looks like we got a train coming out here too. And the same goes for any of the other ones. The IVAO, if you're an IVAO user, you can turn all those on. Your FS Cloud, we can turn those flights on. Pilot Edge, we also have some different overlays that we can choose to overlay. And one is the rainfall, so that is a pretty handy tool, especially if you're VFR flight planning. We can also choose the light map instead of the dark map. I prefer the dark. Below here is where we're gonna choose whether we're gonna use the P3D airports, X-Plane, or Microsoft Flight Sim. Under the controls, we have a couple other options here that we can have it choose to follow us while we are in flight. And under the options tab, we can choose to set different colors for the various items here. Once you're done, make sure you hit the save and you're all set to go there. I think that's pretty cool. How about you guys? Leave me a comment down below. So if we head back over here to flight planning, here's where we can actually plan a flight as well. You'll enter your departure, your destination. I'm not gonna go through a full tutorial on this. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You also have your route finder, airline routes, and your VFR planner if you choose to do that as well. Back over here to the left, we have the flight schedule. So these are all the different schedules that you may be taking, as well as the logbook of all of your flights that you already have done. Under that is your fleet. So this is gonna be all the different aircraft that you're going to input in that you're gonna be using. And then the other cool thing that I really like and is pretty handy is your landing reports. Below that we have a couple other options for streaming and flight tools. So you can choose to take a look at them. We've got some wind calculators, uh, there's some checklists. So it's a pretty handy tool, especially when it is free to use. So if you haven't checked this out, I highly recommend you go over there and check out Sim Toolkit Pro. If you guys have any questions, post them down below in the comments and I'll get right back to you. And if you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. Thanks everybody for joining us on this short video today. And to all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up 
See you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.